Hi, I'm Loki Scarlet. Welcome to my shitty video. I'm going to be recording this all in one go and probably not doing any extra editing afterward, just doing it as I record because I really can't be asked today. Or at least not with this. It's pissing me off too much. So it's time for a rant. So you might have seen this image. People are complaining about it already, of course, mostly from California and mostly whiter than me. Now that's saying something because <laughs> I don't get much sun at all. And when I do, <laughs> I don't tan, I burn. I'm a fucking vampire, okay? Okay, now that joke's out of the way. Um, of course, these are mostly SJWs who will usually tell you to stay out of topics unless you are black enough. Oh, wait, I'm, my quotes aren't in the camera feed there. Now they are. Um, and to stay out of female-related topics unless you're female enough of course only when it suits them as soon as someone outside that category has something on their side and someone inside that category has something against them then that's out the window and as you can tell this is going to be about lighting because it's not just this topic that pisses me off. It is actually the missed concept of lighting. Because apparently this is fixing it, right? This very blue image, let's just redden the skin back up. And that's it. And say, fixed it for ya. Well. <sighs> Problem with that is. That's just not how lighting works. Now. Many people are going to say. Something like, lighting affects everything in the image. Or, um, similarly, they might compare it to a Snapchat filter. Because, again, they're mostly millennials who either haven't done any photography work, or they just somehow get away with not messing around with lighting, they just correct things with filters and call it a day. Uh, and I've, of course, the text on the screen is, uh, the text on the screen there is a parody. It's not a direct quote from anyone, but blue doesn't affect skin like that. Somehow. Um, stuff like that. I'm going to put that away. So, the main problem I see is when people start comparing it to... When people start comparing it to the original Nessa. Like this. Oh, let me put my... So, they'll say that... Lighting should affect everything in the image, right? So if the s so if the skin is bluer, then you know maybe the hair should be bluer, right? And they refer to this comparison image, but the thing is, the hair is bluer, and even the blue parts of the hair, they're bluer. <laughs> Everything, the the dark parts of her clothes, bluer than the original. If that doesn't satisfy you, I just don't know what will. 
but it's about as much bluer as the skin is. But let's be real. They're not going to listen to that because they're going to tell you that lighting should affect an image the way a filter does. No. <laughs> See, if I take away the key light, I now only have the fill light and the backlight, which I don't usually even have a backlight because I don't have very good lighting equipment. Uh, you cannot get the key light back by any realistic means except for turning on the key light. If I turn off the key light and try to use a filter to restore the key light, it's just going to look like a bunch of noise extracted from noise. The reason why there's a shitload of lighting in my scene, actually, is because I have to turn the exposure down to be able to get a even so much as 30 frames per second and to um, also reduce noise in the final product. Of course, the encoding often does that as well, reducing noise, but only incidentally it doesn't do it with intent um, so let's say if i remove the fill light now i have a shadow here i still have a rim from the backlight but that's not gonna help much um, so now this area is shaded i can't do anything but turn the fill light back on now if i turn the backlight off Now I just don't have a rim from the backlight. I can't restore that rim. I can try faking it. I'm not going to. Especially since this is a video, not a still picture. But even if you fake it, you can tell it's faked. So let me turn that back on. reason I'm not streaming it is because I might end up doing some uh, editing out some parts afterward. I'm also recording at a high bitrate so I can do that. Uh, anyway, so you want to see what a filter does to an image? Okay, let me open up my filters. See, I use a few things an image mask, cropping, just to get everything in the right place. Um, I also use color correction. Here's what happens if I turn color correction off, because I use color correction to take my very blue, greenish lights and um, make the whole image more realistic, because these are the only lights in the room. So I turn them off, everything's bluer. I turn them back on, everything is its real color. In fact, I use a lot of objects as reference. Every time I start in order to determine that the colors have been set correctly on color correction. Just any realistic things I can put together. Some things that might look like trash. You'd think that my area is really filthy because of it, but they actually show um, good color sources that I can use. So let's add more to it, shall we? Of course, if you add a laser to the image, Oh, it's not going to show. Okay. Um, you could fake the dot. Oh, here's why it's not showing. Hmm. 
No, it really is just too weak because I have intense lighting. Okay. Well, let's try... No. Oh, here we go. Let's try adding a blue light to the image. Boom. I added a blue light. There is more fill light now. Um, and wouldn't you know that part of the skin looks bluer and it causes it to look paler because even the whitest human skin is red toned. Yes, even on the undead, who would have thunk? But yeah, next time people make these kinds of comparisons, actually look at what you're comparing when you do it. Because otherwise you look like an idiot. And that's really all I gotta say for that. I mean, I could talk about what is and isn't whitewashing. I mean, look at the artist on the left there. The artist is Japanese. There's an entirely different culture around this kind of thing with the Japanese, especially since they have a wider range of skin tone on one ethnicity, depending on how much sun they've been getting, which that joke has been made a bajillion times in anime. This... I'm just going to say this much. This is not whitewashing. You want whitewashing? I could show you whitewashing if I really felt like it. But I, I really don't. I can't be asked beyond this. This is it. And if I don't edit this Im if I don't edit this video after recording, then you are going to see me saying this if statement. If not, then this if statement won't even be in there. And that's about it.